think it's this one. Yeah, yeah, here we are. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, this Mary. So are we a bit early? Um, no, no. Uh, give me a minute, will you? Sorry. Well, Walter, oh. he's taking his time, isn't he? I'm sorry. Uh, what does your habitat mean to you, Mary? Everything. This is where everything happens in my life. And you know, it's it's more than that. It's it's the kind of heartbeat of what I do. If I don't feel happy in my habitat, in my home, I just don't feel happy anywhere, really. Would you consider yourself a habitat boyer? Yes, I am actually. You know what I do? I take Walter for a walk, probably about seven o'clock at night, and uh, I kind of pretend that I'm taking him out for his last wee and poo, but what I'm doing is looking through the neighbour's windows. There's a brilliant house down round the corner, but down the road there was a guy who I thought had a John, John Curran painting, and I used to look in the window thinking, I want that painting, and he caught me, invited me in, and it wasn't a John Curran, but I had to have a drink with him in the end. Sounds nice, I'd like that too. What, what should I steal? Well, I don't mean to really steal anything, but I mean, if you were going to, I love these. I love colour, I love a splash of colour, and these are 17th century French gold inside, and they're very light, so you could probably steal them very easily, but don't even think about it. Hmm. Is there anything you'd actually want me to steal? <laughs> yeah, I haven't found the right lights yet. So, do you know what? Take that away and bring me a decent light fitting. Because every time I look at that, I get clinically depressed. Not so bad. I mean, um, so, say for example, Tuesday night and walking past, what would you like me to be looking at? Well, Tuesday night, seven o'clock, I'd like to be lying on this sofa, which is the most comfortable sofa. And I'd have a glass of wine, except I haven't got a side table and I've dropped it on my lovely rug. And Beautiful. I'd be waiting for someone to make me dinner, but I, I think I'll probably be waiting here quite a long time. And where's the guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure. Come with me. Great room, Mary. Yeah, I love this room. This is where we spend most of our time. What's the best thing that's ever happened in here? Oh, as if I'm going to tell you what the best thing is. But I can tell you what my favourite thing is. I love coming down in the morning and I sit down here, make a lovely cup of coffee. My little son sits next to me with a bottle of milk and I just think, oh, the day's just starting and I feel good. Is there an element in the room that you're secretly obsessed with? Well, there's an element that is meant to be happening called a steam room that I want to be secretly obsessed with, but it hasn't happened yet. But I think it's this bit. I just love the way the light plays against the chair and I can sit here and thinking all's good with the world. So what's more important then? Are you pleasing yourself or making the place look great for, for your guests, for other people? Pleasing myself completely. If I don't feel it feels great, then I just don't want it in the house. And then I get quite obsessed about stuff. And when I want to change it, I want it to be done quickly. So I don't do it for anyone else. And if they don't enjoy it, then that's me. This is my home. And is there anything you'd be ashamed for me to discover? Yeah. How about that's the end of the interview? I think I've given you a lot of time.